Good afternoon. We're going to work on 7-8, perpendicular and parallel lines. Parallel lines are one of the most basic uh, mathematical um, functions that exist. Parallel lines are everywhere. Everywhere you look, outside, on the road, lines on the road are parallel, up in the sky, there's things, trees, branches, um, I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, no, I'm talking about the ceiling. Man-made things, generally parallel lines, straight lines, industrial revolution, you know, that's how it works. Factories, lines. Parallel lines are two lines that have the same slope, okay? Better look at the graph. It's better than me who can do that, okay? So this graph is like that. These look like fins. Some people, you know, can anybody out there think of examples of parallel lines? Sharks. Sharks. Okay, I don't know. Oh, yeah, gills. Gills. Shark. Gills, right? Yeah. Yes, Ron? Two like, freeway things, two lanes. In the two freeway dividers, two lane markings. Very good. Connor. Boxes of fish sticks. <laughs> Boxes of fish sticks. Yeah, Connor's yeah. hungry. Yeah. Um, I had fish sticks last night anyway. Not proud of it, but, you know. I love fish sticks. Um, I love fish and chips. If you have them in England, fish yeah. the real thing, oh, incredible. Yeah. Incredible. Put like some vinegar on. I like the it's the ice creams. Yeah, the ice creams yeah. all with you. There you go. There you go. But the stuff you get here, frozen fish and stuff. What do you do? What can you do with that stuff? Come mayonnaise on it? I don't know. It's not, it's not the same. <laughs> Go to England and eat fish and chips and remember me by that. And watch a Manchester All right, so, United game. And what? And watch a Manchester United game. Ah, Manchester United. It's United. all about Manchester. There you go. So lines that are parallel have the same slope. Lines that are parallel have the same slope. And here's a diagram. Look at this. Can somebody read these equations? Bernadette, can you see what that says? Y equals... Right, y equals. Okay, what do you notice about those three equations, Jonathan? What what's the same about those three equations? Um, one half. One half, right, or one half x. But the slope, Taylor, for this one is what? M equals. Right. What's the slope for that one? One half. And what's the slope for that one? So the slopes are the same. M. The slope is the same for each of those lines, and that's why they look parallel. What's different about those three lines? Why aren't they the same line? What's this? Negative one. This? They have a different y intercept. They have a different b or y intercept, and that's what makes them parallel. Everybody clear on that? By looking at it, by seeing the equations, whether you get them as equations or whether you get them on a graph, are we good? What parallel lines are? You compare the slopes. Good. So now let's move over. M equals one half. Let's move over and let's talk about perpendicular lines. I'm moving over. So is the camera. I'm not going to trip. I'm not going to follow. Perpendicular lines Good. have slopes that do what? That multiply to equal a negative one. Okay. Now that's a little more abstract. That's a little not so easy to see at first. So let's look at an example. We've got this line here, which is slope two. And this line, which is 90 degrees as delineated by that little symbol, that little square, that little rectangle right there is a 90 degree symbol. That line shoots off and the slope is negative one half. What happens when you multiply negative one half times two? You get negative one. You get negative one. And that is the condition you need for perpendicular lines. The slopes need to multiply by two. By, when you multiply the slopes, they have to equal negative one. Okay? When you multiply the slopes, they have to equal negative one. And those, indeed, they do. Now, those are the criteria you need. That's, those are the tools you need to do these questions. Now, you're going to take questions, do stuff you've already done before, okay? Put things in y equals mx plus b, find the slopes, compare them, and then decide whether or not these lines that we give you are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. So let's put our attention to page 340. This is all page 340, okay? Questions 1 through 25. Um, all have to do with this kind of question, so we zoned in on that. So determine whether these lines are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. So given any give, uh, two sets of point, uh, lines, this is one line, that's another line. This equation says negative 4 equals y plus 2x, and this one says 6x plus 3y equals 4. What do you think you would do to get the ball rolling here? How would you approach this question? Would you like, graph, choose different x and y's to go in? You could. You could. She wants to make a t-chart and graph them and then see what they look like. That's one way to do it. There's another way. More a recommended way. Would, that would be okay, but I would recommend something else. What is the criterion you're looking for? Yes? Are you looking for y equals 
equals mx plus b. Absolutely, but why would we work? Why would we look for y equals mx plus b? Why bother? You're right. We need to find the slope. Yes. Why do we want to find the slope? No, we don't care about the y-intercept for these, yeah? That asks whether these lines are parallel or perpendicular. If they were parallel, they'd have the same slope. That's right. So that's the whole game here, guys. The game in town is just find the slope. Find the slope of bless each you. line bless you. by going y equals mx plus b and compare them. If they're the same slope, the lines are parallel. If the slopes multiply to be negative 1, the lines are perpendicular. If the slopes aren't the same and they don't multiply to be negative 1, then they're just not perpendicular or parallel. They're just a couple lines. That's it. All right? Lines don't have to be parallel. They don't have to be perpendicular. So let's try this one together, and then we'll let you loose on these other two. All right? So negative 4 equals y plus 2x. How do we get that into y equals mx plus b form? How do we get y on it? You want to get y on its own some, own some loan some. Subtract. Subtract what? Uh, no, let's leave y where it is. You could. You could. Okay, did you listen to John? Subtract <laughs> to it. I can't really see Okay, tip the feet down, Caroline. It's not living room time, okay? Uh, yeah, go ahead, uh, Emily. Good, subtract 2x, good. From both sides. From both sides. You know, we wouldn't have been wrong. Hey, Taylor, it's not wrong to subtract y. It's just we don't really want to deal with a negative y. Watch. So we've got, here we go. We've got our arrow. So we've got negative 2x minus 4 equals y. Okay? What's, we're almost there. How could we rewrite that to be just a little more copacetic? What? Negative 2x plus negative y. Negative four. Nah, that's y negative. equals negative yes. two. Yes, thank you. Four. Let's oh. just move it around. Let's oh. turn the beat around. Oh, okay. I see. No, no, no. There you go. <laughs> turn it upside down. Anyway, that was a one hit wonder, by the way. Uh, y equals negative two x minus four. And over here, what do we do with that? Because we've we got to do this with both equations, right? Lupe? You're so close, but I haven't heard from you too much yet. So what do we do to get y on its own? We want y on its own. Subtract 6x. Subtract 6x. Good. On both sides. And what do we get, Johnny? Who? Johnny? Oh, uh, y equals negative 6x minus 4. Oh, plus 4. Plus 4, you sure? OK, we're almost there, but not quite. Bernadette, what's our last step to get y on its own soon? By what? By Good job. Thank you, Bernadette. And what do we get? <sighs> what do we get? Oh. No. All right. Good. Now, what is the slope of this one? Okay. What's the slope of this one? Katrina. What's the slope of that guy? Um, I think you guys need to move up. Two. Negative two. Okay. And what about the slope of this one, Jonathan? What's the slope of that one? Negative two. That's right. Now tell me a story, okay? Tell me something that I don't know. Or rather, tell me something that you didn't think you knew about ten minutes ago. Yeah, what? The lines are parallel. Why are the lines parallel? Because they're both equal to negative two. Because what is both equal to negative two? The slopes of the lines are both equal to negative 2, as discovered by, uh, by, go, by figuring out y equals mx plus b, our famous equation. Gives us m, gives us b, it makes us happy. y equals mx plus b. The lines are parallel. Write it out. The lines are parallel. <laughs> two, two L's. One R, two L's. Parallel. 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 Parallel.